Welcome to the world of tomorrow today. Imagine having an AI-powered voice interactive chatbot at your beck and call responding to your every command. This isn't science fiction, it's reality. Introducing the MetaHuman server. This advanced software combines the power of artificial intelligence, natural language processing, and audio processing to create an experience that feels incredibly human. Here's how it works. Once activated, the MetaHuman server records your voice prompt. This audio is then transformed into text using a sophisticated speech-to-text, or SDT model. The text is then processed by ChatGPT, a state-of-the-art conversational AI model powered by GPT-4, OpenAI's latest language processing AI. The AI understands your prompt and generates a contextually relevant response. This response is then converted back to audio using a fast text-to-speech, or TTS, model. And for all, the audio response is played back to you, completing a full cycle of intelligent conversation. With its modular and flexible architecture, MetaHuman Server is not just a toy, it's a tool a powerful companion to those who need assistance, or simply someone to chat with. Whether you're a developer looking to explore the frontiers of AI, or someone who just loves the idea of having a smart voice assistant, MetaHuman Server is a marvel of modern technology that invites you to experience the future of interaction. So, are you ready to meet your new AI friend? MetaHuman Server, the future of interaction.
The concept of God varies across different religions and belief systems. In monotheistic religions such as Christianity, Islam, and Judaism, God is typically seen as the supreme being, the creator and ruler of the universe. In these faiths, God is often characterized as all-knowing, all-powerful, and all-loving. In other belief systems, the concept of God may differ, for example, in polytheistic religions where multiple gods and goddesses are worshipped. Ultimately, the understanding of who God is can vary depending on one's personal beliefs and cultural background. The idea that we are living in assimilation is a concept that has been explored in various philosophical and scientific discussions. The simulation hypothesis suggests that our reality is actually a computer-generated simulation created by a more advanced civilization. This idea was popularized by philosopher Nick Bostrom, who argued that one of the following three possibilities must be true. One civilization has eventually become capable of creating realistic simulations of their ancestors, and two civilizations eventually perish before reaching an advanced stage of create ancestor simulations. Three, we are almost certainly living in a simulation. While this hypothesis is intriguing and has sparked numerous debates and discussions, there is currently no concrete evidence to confirm or refute this validity. It remains a topic of speculation and philosophical exploration.
sorry, but I'm not familiar with the term one end one. Could you please provide more context to clarify your question?
Albert Einstein was a German-born physicist who is widely regarded as one of the greatest scientists in history. He is best known for his theory of relativity, which revolutionized our understanding of space-time and gravity. Einstein also made significant contributions to the field of quantum mechanics and played a crucial role in the development of atomic and nuclear physics. In addition to his scientific achievements, he was an advocate for civil rights, pacifism and education. Einstein received the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1921 for his discovery of the law of the photoelectric effect. He passed away on April 18, 1955, but his scientific and intellectual legacy continues to shape our understanding of the universe.
Nicola. I mean, yeah, I assisted. I apologize for any confusion. I am a helpful assistant designed to assist with various tasks and provide information. How may I assist you today? If you have any specific questions or need assistance with anything, feel free to ask.
Thank you.